Numbers 34. The Lord said to Moses, Give this command to the people of Israel. You will soon enter Canaan. It will be yours. These shall be the borders. On the south, you will get part of the desert of Zin. This is near the border of Edom. On the east side, your southern border will start at the south end of the Dead Sea. It will cross south of Scorpion Pass. It will go through the desert of Zin and south of Kadesh Barnea. Then it will go on to Hazar Adar and over to Asmon. From Asmon, it will go to the brook of Egypt. It will end at the Mediterranean Sea. Your western border will be the Mediterranean Sea. Your northern border will begin at the Mediterranean Sea and go to Mount Hor. From Mount Hor, it will go to Lebo Hamath. Then it will go to Zedad. Then the border will go to Ziphron and end at Hazar Enon. This will be the northern border. Your eastern border will begin at Hazar Enon and go to Shepham. From Shepham, the border will go east of Ayin to Ribla. It will go along the hills east of Lake Galilee. Then the border will go down along the Jordan River. It will end at the Dead Sea. These are the borders around your country. So Moses gave this command to the Israelites. This is the land you will receive. Throw lots to divide it among the nine and a half tribes. The Lord commanded that it should be theirs. The tribes of Reuben and Gad and the eastern half tribe of Manasseh have already received their land. These two and a half tribes received land east of the Jordan River. It is across from Jericho. Then the Lord said to Moses, These are the men who will divide the land, Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun. Also take one leader from each tribe. They will divide the land. These are the names of the leaders. From the tribe of Judah, Caleb son of Jephunneh. From the tribe of Simeon, Shamuel son of Amihud. From the tribe of Benjamin, Eladad son of Keslon. From the tribe of Dan, Buki son of Jogli. From the tribe of Manasseh, son of Joseph, Hanel, son of Ephod. From the tribe of Ephraim, son of Joseph, Camuel, son of Shiftan. From the tribe of Zebulun, Elzaphan, son of Parnok. From the tribe of Issachar, Peltiel, son of Azan. From the tribe of Asher, Ahuhud, son of Shalomi. From the tribe of Naphtali, Perahel, son of Amiud. The Lord commanded these men to divide the land of Canaan among the Israelites. Psalm 78, a muscle of Asaph, from verse 40. They turned against God so often in the desert. There they made him very sad. Again and again they tested God. They brought pain to the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember his power. All the time he saved them from the enemy. They forgot the signs he did in Egypt and his miracles in the fields of Zion. He turned the rivers to blood so no one could drink the water. He sent flies that bit the people. He sent frogs that destroyed them. He gave their crops to grasshoppers and what they worked for to locusts. He destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamore trees with sleet. He killed their animals with hail and their cattle with lightning. He showed them his hot anger. He sent his strong anger against them. He sent his destroying angels. He found a way to show his anger. He did not keep them from dying. He let them die by a terrible disease. God killed all the firstborn sons in Egypt, the oldest son of each family of Ham. But God led out his people like sheep. He guided them like a flock through the desert. He led them to safety. They had nothing to fear, but their enemies drowned in the sea. So God brought them to his holy land. He brought them to the mountain country he took with his own power. He forced out the other nations and he had his people inherit the land. He let the tribes of Israel settle there in tents, but they tested God and turned against the Most High. They did not keep his rules, 
They turned away and sinned just like their ancestors. They were like a crooked bow that does not shoot straight. They made God angry by building places to worship false gods. They made him jealous with their idols. When God heard them, he became very angry and he rejected the people of Israel completely. He left his dwelling at Shiloh, the tent where he lived among men. He let his Ark of the Covenant be captured. He let the Ark of the Covenant, which was his glory, be taken by enemies. He let his people be killed. He was very angry with his children. The young men died by fire. The young women had no one to marry. Their priests fell by the sword. But their widows were not allowed to cry. Then the Lord got up as if he had been asleep. He woke like a man who was drunk with wine. He struck down his enemies. He disgraced them forever. But God rejected the family of Joseph. He did not choose the tribe of Ephraim. Instead, he chose the tribe of Judah and Mount Zion, which he loves. And he built his temple high like the mountains. Like the earth, he built it to last forever. He chose David to be his servant. He took him from the sheep pen. He brought him from tending the sheep so he could lead the flock, the people of Jacob. This flock was his own people, the people of Israel. And David led them with an innocent heart. He guided them with skillful hands. Isaiah 26. At that time, people will sing this song in Judah. We have a strong city. God protects us with its strong walls and defenses. Open the gates and the good people will enter. They follow God's good way of living. You, Lord, give true peace. You give peace to those who depend on you. You give peace to those who trust you. So trust the Lord always. Trust the Lord because he is our rock forever. But the Lord will destroy the proud city and he will punish the people living there. He will bring that high city down to the ground. He throws it down into the dust. When those who are hurt by the city will walk on its ruins, those who were made poor by the city will trample it under their feet. The path of life to the people who are right with God is level. Lord, you make the way of life smooth for those people. But Lord, We are waiting for your way of justice. Our souls want to remember you and your name. My soul wants to be with you at night, and my spirit wants to be with you at the dawn of every day. When your way of justice comes to the land, people of the world will learn the right way of living. An evil person will not learn to do good, even if you show him kindness. He will continue doing evil, even if he lives in a good world. He never sees the Lord's greatness. Lord, you are ready to punish those people, but they do not see that. Lord, show them your strong love for your people. Then the evil people will be ashamed. Burn them in the fire you have prepared for your enemies. Lord, all our success is because of what you have done. So give us Peace. Lord our God, other masters beside you have ruled us, but we honour only you. Those masters are now dead. Their ghosts will not rise from death. You decided to destroy them, and you destroyed any memory of them. Lord, you multiplied the number of your people. You multiplied them and brought honour to yourself. You made the borders of the land wide. Lord, people remember you when they are in trouble. They say quiet prayers to you when you punish them. Lord, when we are with you, we are like a woman giving birth to a baby. She cries and has pain from the birth. In the same way, we had pain. We gave birth, but only to wind. We don't bring salvation to the land. We don't make new people for the world. Your people have died. But they will live again. Their bodies will rise from death. Dead people in the ground, get up and be happy. 
the dew covering you is like the dew of a new day. The ground will give birth to the dead buried in it. My people, go into your rooms, shut your doors behind you, hide in your rooms for a short time, hide until God's anger is finished. The Lord will leave his place. He will punish the people of the world for their sins. The earth will show the blood of the people who have been killed. It will not cover the dead any longer. 1 John chapter 4 My dear friends, many false prophets are in the world now, so do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see if they are from God. This is how you can know God's spirit. One spirit says, I believe that Jesus is the Christ who came to earth and became a man. That spirit is from God. Another spirit refuses to say this about Jesus. That spirit is not from God, but is the spirit of the enemy of Christ. You have heard that the enemy of Christ is coming, and now he is already in the world. My dear children, you belong to God. So you have defeated them because God's spirit who is in you is greater than the devil who is in the world, and they belong to the world. What they say is from the world, and the world listens to them. But we are from God, and those who know God listen to us. But those who are not from God do not listen to us. That is how we know the spirit that is true and the spirit that is false. Dear friends, we should love each other, because love comes from God. The person who loves has become God's child and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love to us. He sent his only son into the world to give us life through him. True love is God's love for us, not our love for God. God sent his son to die in our place to take away our sins. That is how much God loved us, dear friends. So we also must love each other. No one has ever seen God, but if we love each other, God lives in us. If we love each other, God's love has reached its goal. It is made perfect in us. We know that we live in God and God lives in us. We know this because God gave us his spirit. We have seen that the Father sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. That is what we teach. If someone says, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God, then God lives in him. And he lives in God. And so we know the love that God has for us. And we trust that love. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God. And God lives in him. If God's love is made perfect in us, then we can be without fear on the day God judges us. We will be without fear because in this world we are like him. Where God's love is, there is no fear, because God's perfect love takes away fear. It is punishment that makes a person fear. So love is not made perfect in the person who has fear. We love because God first loved us. If someone says, I love God, but hates his brother, he's a liar. He can see his brother, but he hates him. So he cannot love God whom he has never seen. And God gave us this command, whoever loves God must also love his brother.